Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to introduce myself to you. My name is Renee. You can follow me on Instagram at Renee Loves Designers. I spell loves, L-U-V-S, Renee Loves Designers. Um, and I'll put uh, a link down below in the description box. But today what I thought I would do is um, just share with you a little bit about my uh, Chanel Classic Double Flap in the uh, Caviar Leather with Gold Hardware. I've had her now for a little over a month. Um, I am so thankful and and um, still kind of in awe that my husband gave her to me for my 25th wedding anniversary, our 25th wedding anniversary. And this is my dream bag and I have carried her almost every day. Um, I took her with us on vacation when we went to Philadelphia for a week um, and she really um, carries a lot. So I uh, just wanted to share with you what's in my bag. Um, so again, this is the uh, jumbo or the large a classic flap, classic double flap in caviar leather with uh, the gold hardware, and she is just absolutely spectacular. Uh, the chain is, I think, my obsession. I love the sound of it. I love the iconic look of this bag. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you. It is a turn lock closure. Um, I have found that I don't typically snap the inside, the double flap. Um, but anyway, this is just what I've been carrying with me uh, this weekend. We celebrated my birthday. I can't believe here we are again. Um, but we went to the Montage in Laguna. Uh, we went to my husband and I did and our kids. I got to go to dinner with, excuse me, got to go to brunch with my sisters and my mom at Splashes, which is at the Surf and Sand Hotel. Uh, anyway, this girl got a lot of use. So she has um, the burgundy leather interior. Many of you are already familiar with these bags, but I just want to show you what I have in here. I don't have my phone in here right now because I'm actually filming on my phone, but I keep my... Um, Louis Vuitton card case on the inside of that interior pocket right there. So I've got my Louis Vuitton card case. I have my um, Tory Burch sunglasses. I've shared with you these sunglasses before. Um, this is really more about what's in my bag, not a complete modeling <laughs> video of the items in my bag but this is a very sizable sunglass case and um, I think it's important to note that it does fit in here and I fit it at the top so I also have um, my mini pochette um, and I have some excuse me some makeup items in here I don't have a lot I just have a lipstick lip gloss a liner a couple of receipts and a MAC uh, powder compact. So that's in here. And I actually, when we traveled to Philadelphia, can fit more in here. I had hand sanitizer in here as well. Um, and then I have my six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. This key ring, key holder, excuse me, I have my initials and a wave. Um, that I had hot stamped at the South Coast Plaza Atelier. Um, I also have, again, this is not fully loaded, but I have a coin purse uh, with loose change, coin shortage. I don't know about that. And then I have um, a mask because that's the new reality is masks everywhere we go. So, um, oh, and it looks like in this pouch here, I have my um, Chanel lip liner. And this is in, this is the newer one. It's uh, called Pivione. It's number 164. This is my new favorite because they did away with the number five nude. Um, this goes on real creamy. I have it on today with, I have a couple of these, um, with my Chanel Diva lipstick. I want to tell you something that I really like about this bag. Uh, and one of you suggested, because I had seen on other videos, you could put your cell phone in this back pocket. And one of you suggested not to do that because your experience had been that this did start to stretch out. So... 
Thank you for that tip. I have not been putting my phone in there. But something that I do like because my first observation when I was carrying this was that this seemed really um, stiff. Um, and I'm thinking, how are all these people fitting all of their essentials in here? Because I'd watch your videos and you were able to stuff so many items in here. And it, it to me, initially, it didn't seem like I was going to really be able to fill this. And the leather has softened. And so I can really um, put all these items into the bag comfortably and with room to spare. So I'm going to put this back in here. My coin purse over here. Let me just snap this six ring key holder. I'll kind of show you how I fit things in here. Six ring key holder off to the side. Um, I like, I do have a Louis Vuitton wallet, but I just like how easy this is to slip in there. Um, also because when it's on your shoulder, it's super easy to just know where your, um, your cards are. Um, I will take my mask, put that in there and there's still a ton of room. Um, and then I do put this upside down. Let's see how this, there's still so much room in here. Just fold that over. Um, and I have, let's see, there we go. I'm just gonna slip things around in here because I don't like this to be too bulky. Um, if you turn your glasses right side up like that, um, there's too much of a, a bulge on one side and I want the flap to stay smooth. So hold on here. Okay, so this is better where it sits inside a little bit. Flap comes down and lock the girl. Lock her up nice and tight. And there she is, ready for the day. Um, this bag just is, it's amazing. Um, I know the price point is a lot to swallow. It's very scary. Um, and I waited a long time for her. So if you're on the fence, I get it. Um, but she is absolutely a beauty and I've worn her with jeans. I've worn her with dresses. I just have a black sundress on today. Um, I've carried her in my Lululemon pants and tennis shoes. Uh, I do believe if you spend money or you invest in bags, um, you should wear them. And certainly this girl has a reputation, especially in the caviar, for being able to just uh, take a beating as a day-to-day -day bag. And that is how I've carried her. And I love her. Um, I am incredibly grateful to have her. I do not take it for granted. Um, if you have any questions about this bag, feel free to leave them down below. I'd be happy to uh, answer them for you. As always, uh, thank you for sticking around and watching this video, spending time with me. I would love for you to like and subscribe. And again, follow me on Instagram at Renee Loves Designers. God bless you. Make it a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.